when you use the right fertilizer source at the right rate, at the right time, the right place, not only do you help protect the environment, you also help boost your bottom line. The first of the four R's is the right fertilizer source. This means apply the right source to your um, area that you're working in. If I'm doing a uh, fall application of, of nitrogen, I'm going to use anhydrous ammonia because that's the proper source for a fall application. We're going to take another source of nitrogen, which is UAN, and put it on in the spring of the year, right before planting. We're going to take a look at maybe a third application, which is going to be another form of nitrogen, which might be urea, or it might be a side dress application of, of UAN. So you've taken, you've taken multiple sources and built it into your 4R program. The economics for the grower becomes evident because, for one thing, we'll probably increase yield by doing the spoon feeding, but also we haven't allowed a loss of nitrogen uh, to decrease our yield. The second R is right rate. So our rate is determined basically by our soil tests and what our land grant university, or in my case, the University of Illinois Agronomy Handbook would, will tell us what our fertilizer sufficiency should be in the soil. Do we need to build them? Do we need to maintain them? Do we need to not even use it? We don't want to overapply, but also we don't want to underapply. So we take a look at that soil test, and if it calls for a, a buildup or a maintenance level of fertilizer, we apply that. It just basically comes down to making a smart business decision. The third R is the right time. So we start looking at time, and I use nitrogen talking about the four R's. So the worst timing for nitrogen application could possibly be in the fall. Phosphorus and potassium, you can apply those in the fall, and they will stay in the soil. The worst place to store nitrogen is probably in the soil because it doesn't store. So we want to make sure that, that um, when we apply our nitrogen, we're making sure that, that um, it's being utilized. So the last of the four R's is the right place. So we start talking about placement of, of fertilizer. Probably the worst time to apply phosphorus and potassium is in the wintertime on frozen snow-covered ground and on ground that's rolling in that area. So we can have losses of fertilizer that way. Another thing we're looking at is in placement is a way to, uh, especially with phosphorus, we want to put it in four inches deep. Maybe go with a strip till, place it in a band under the row, place it in the soil rather than just laying it on, on the surface. Not only will the crop probably access the nutrient more effectively, especially if you get a little dry year, you have the phosphorus down low, but environmentally you've prevented that phosphorus from moving off the land and moving into the waterways. Following these principles of the 4Rs is, is a win-win for both the, the environment, it's a win-win for the, the local economies, and it's also a win-win for the, the grower, the, the farmer, uh, and his economics.